you cave guys and cave gals, caveman mining here. I hope everyone is well and having a good day. As you can see, it's pretty quiet here in the caveman garage. Everything has come to a stop for now. And it is because we are doing the latest uh, updates for the miner software. What we're going to be doing today is testing out the latest version of G-Miner 2.75. And that is for the light hash rate card on the 3060 RTX the revision two and uh, essentially they've done some new updates where it increases the performance of the card we're going to take a look and jump in the computer upstairs check out the software and see how efficient and how powerful this version is all right guys first things first in the laptop now want to take a quick snippet at the market as you guys know over the last couple days things have been extremely volatile regarding bitcoin ethereum all other altcoins you guys saw that we dipped down into the bottom 30,000 range I think 32,000 31,000 uh, range for Bitcoin and then we were down to almost 2,000 for Ethereum so buckle up <laughs> strap in hang on tight because we are in for a little bit of a bumpy road here some of the people in the community who are I guess market analysts say that we'll probably make a run back up for like 50k uh, Bitcoin and then back down. So uh, I think we can expect a little bit more volatility and uh, we'll see where things go on the market. But we're not here for that, guys. What we're here for is to look at the G minor version uh, 22.75. Uh, uh, let's get the release notes and take a look at what this means you guys can see here at the uh, github page this has major performance improvement uh, for LHR GPUs on Ethereum they improve the auto tuning for LHR cards and they change the developer fee down to 1.1 uh, 1 percent uh, I believe it was 1.5 uh, percent before so a little bit more incentive to use G minor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software here. Uh, we have a hash rate of 36.32, 103 watts at 352 kilowatts, uh, kilohash per watt ratio. So that is pretty good. Let's take a look at our clocks here. So we have a power limit of 65, core clock of minus 502 memory of 1339 so again i always push the memory a little bit uh high on this uh gigabyte 3060 light hash revision 2 card cranking the fans up to 100 percent keeping it nice and cool and as you guys can see here at the wall we are roughly about 100 and let's see 152 watts give or take at the wall so I know this motherboard has the makeup of f about 45 watts without, uh, I guess, without running any mining software uh, or running uh, anything at high power. So, you know, we'll do the math on that uh, here, but we'll take a look here. We've got a camera at the wall, so we'll continue to to look at that as we go it's about 151 to 155 spiking between that range as we go here and um let's see we didn't get much of an update here okay we brought down the hash rate a little bit 35.32 at 336 kilohash per watt so that's a little bit more in line with which what we saw with the i guess the last version of g minor close to nb minor and i think t-rex minor is still king in terms of this card i think we were able to get uh, unlocked a uh, hash rate of 30 uh, 74 and a half percent on that so g minor in my opinion is still a little bit behind the game uh we'll see i like this because it's been a little while that any of these mining developers have released any updates so i know this is kind of a minor one in terms of like overall performance improvement but hopefully it kickstarts the i guess the juices flowing between these development teams to release a little bit more frequency on these mining updates 
So let's go ahead and we're going to do a quick what to mine profitability uh, on that based off of the market uh, as we see it right now. So let's go ahead and clear everything we have out here. So we said uh, 36.25 was the highest and we were about 155 watts at the wall. So let's go ahead and calculate that based off of everything. So $1, okay, <laughs> that is based off of the value of where Ethereum is at, the difficulty, the network hash rate, and of course this hash rate. So profitability guys is gone way down, but there might have been some videos that you followed out there. I think Seb's FinTech did a nice one about this is actually the time to mine. Uh, being that the market is dipping down, we may have people that are uh, pulling off the networks, uh, maybe even shutting off their mining rigs or even selling their, their equipment. So, um, you know, I'll say this from my, from my experiences, when we hit this type of scenario and I guess your electricity, if it's still profitable for you to mine, I think, you know, full, full steam ahead, keep going. Don't let this deter you on the market. Again, not financial advice, but this is what I plan on doing. In my situation, I know things will correct at some point in time. But as always, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I am eager to see more updates from the minor uh, developers to keep doing these. And um, yeah, Ethereum will st will still keep our, our foot on the gas pedal and keep going. And if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.